We're looking at Teo in today's Top Tip Tuesday, and I'm going to show you how we can apply realistic wind force effects to animated plants in Teo Plant. We can animate the trunks, the branches, the leaves, all individually to fully art direct the scene. It's really cool, fun to use. Let's begin. In our scene, we have this Teo Plant, and we've created this tree with a trunk, four branch layers, and a basic leaf layer which is giving us this and it's animating the branches are animating quite nicely and that is because if we go to the forces tab we have forces enabled in their default settings and it's looking pretty nice apart from the leaves don't look quite right in the way in which they're animating and that's what we're going to explore now so the forces we have these global settings for the wind strength let's put this wind strength up to say 150 to make it stronger and then we have turbulent settings on top of that wind which can make it um, further kind of independently move around here so we get this nice swaying so we have our global settings, but then for every plant layer, we have individual layer options. So let's just have a look at the trunk options to understand these. We have strength. Now, if I increase the trunk strength option, it increases how that force affects just the trunk. Um, so obviously, if we put it up more, it's more bent over in the wind or less. We've got the frequency and we've also got the turbulent frequency as well, which can be adjusted. And finally, there is a layer weight. And what this is saying is at the base of the trunk, there is zero force. And we can see that there's no force here, which is what we would want because it's really thick. It shouldn't be swaying. And as we make our way up the trunk, there's more and more force. And each layer gets this. So let's have a look at our leaf layer options and you can see that we only have these three settings and then we have some extra grayed out settings now to get these extra options let's just hit pause what you have to do is ensure that we select this which gives individual per leaf forces so if we click this on we then get our extra settings and if i look get our wind bend strength and put this up near the top you can see look the winds the the, the leaves have been bent in the direction of the force of that wind and they're kind of blowing and fluttering in that direction and then we get these extra curl options to add animated deformation per leaf so it'll be different for every leaf so we can get some really super realistic um, forces and wind animation the downside to this is that because each leaf has to be controlled individually it can no longer use multi instances so each leaf is its own object and that means that it's computationally very intense and it's much slower to simulate so this option should only really be reserved for hero trees when you really really need it for most instances we can kind of fake this look uh, with some of the uh, the layer options which is what i'm going to demonstrate now um, so let's just click that off so now we just have our multi instance mode back which is really quick to simulate and we need to try and fake that look so First of all, let's go to our leaf options and just switch off the strength and the frequency so the leaves aren't being affected at all. And let's go to our plant layers options, leaf, and we're going to go to the orientation tab and we're going to get them pointing in the direction the wind's going. And all we need to do to do that is put this angle really up high, um, close to 100%. And then we can add a little bit of twist with lots of variation so they're not all um, kind of orientated exactly the same and let's add a little bit of angle um, variation as well something like that so now it's still not right but at least it looks like they're kind of being blown in that into that orientation now we need some fluttering so we'll go back to our forces tab and what we can do is look increase our strength up to say 25 and let's put our frequency on to 100 and you'll see that we're not getting enough fluttering here but we're starting to get a bit of movement what we want to do is actually increase our global turbulence a bit let's pull this up yeah so now you can see we're starting to get a bit of swaying in our leaves 
and our branches. And if you think the branches are swaying too much, now I've got that extra turbulence, you can of course turn it down in the individual layer options. But let's leave it for now. So this is looking good, but we need a bit more kind of frenetic fluttering going on. And the way we're going to get that is just by increasing this frequency. Look, put it on 500. This still isn't going to be enough, but yeah, look at that aggressive kind of fluttering that we're getting. And what we can do, if, if that's too much, is we can reduce this global turbulence down just a little bit until it's a bit more under control. Yeah, that's looking nice. If you want even more, we could go up to, say, 800. And then you've got that really kind of aggressive fluttering when it really is blowing an absolute gale.